Thank you for the invitation. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. You are representing Songs for Peace. For which country and what's your song title and what's the year of release for the viewers? I represent a uh, Peace from Peru. And uh, I contribute actually with a song, Flores Fuentes de Paz in English. <laughs> it's like a flower so source of peace. Yes. And what motivated you to compose the song about world peace and also to participate in our initiative? I found actually with a very nice initiative, the best motivation I had to, to write a song is to be part of, of, of a group who are interested in, in this important topic is that this peace in the world. Well, there are things that are happening around the world in many countries in different ways. Could be the war, it could be a war, it could be a conflict, internal conflict. Uh, political problems, everything that normally causes violence. I felt very involved in, in order to, to write a song about peace. Uh, so Flower Blooms for Two is normally when you, you need to understand the other. It's, it's, it helps actually when you understand the culture of, of the other person, when you know more about uh, their culture, his culture, her culture. You, you are more conscious of, uh, of what this person feels and that allows you to, to respect more the other people. What does the song tell the world? It's a poetical song. The essence of, this, of the subject is that normally knowing, knowing better each other, we can respect each other. This respect can help us actually to, to know more about the other person and even to be able to live in peace. I can read you some parts of the song. So, I, <laughs> so yeah, like yeah. Uh, a flower blooms for two, two ideas and the senses of two, we overcome our differences when we embrace the sense of one another no and respect and values to combat violence and still in, in us the patience to follow the path which is our destiny as we fight for peace forged uh, forged by our consciousness and love this idea of flowers no like a flowers rich with a uh, aroma of life flowers of hope you know flowers of harmony flowers beautiful and serene i mean like a, you know we are very special we are very special. So the, the idea is that I compare people normally with flowers, but unfortunately we don't know some exotic flowers. <laughs> so, um, and the fact of being interested in, in discovering this other world, you know, this other living uh, life way of thinking, you can love this, uh, these flowers, you know? So uh, it's that, that's the idea. That's the idea is that normally we, we forget. We forget that it's very important to, to learn, to, to be interested in, the, in other cultures, in other people, and try to... Sometimes we cannot, we, we cannot understand, but at least the fact of knowing more about them, it, it helps actually for respect and love. I have this question. <laughs> yeah. What brought you to write the song? But you wrote the song because you wanted to participate in Song mm -hmm. World Peace. You wrote the song for Song World Peace, right? I really liked the, the fact of finding a, a group from the old world actually interesting in this. But um, I was inspired by the idea of uh, probably of what my country was living. And and my country now as well because I'm <laughs> I'm I'm Peruvian I'm from, I'm from Peru I live in Canada I adopted Canada as my country as well so and there are some similarities in order to uh, we have a lot of challenges and uh, we have racism as well and discrimination for example and the fact of not trying to understand each other or not trying to know more about the other culture causes many problems. My country was living at the time and is living now and here as well. That inspired me actually to write about these lyrics. How does your song or your participation in Songs for the Peace positively impact you? I can tell you, Yashi, that was the first time actually I, I wrote a song uh, that could be probably... I didn't feel alone. That inspired me 
and I can I can came back to inspiration, but <laughs> to continue writing more songs like that, to know that you can do it with a specific uh, specific topic that are happening right now is something that uh, made me to encounter my my goal, the goal I I I've had for a long time, and maybe I I was it was hidden it was hidden. <laughs> If I wasn't in, in, involved in writing social songs uh, with this invitation, I was more uh, motivated to do it. We actually worked together at Berkeley College of Music. When I was a student, you came here as a guest band, lead yeah. singer. Yeah. Uh, so that band's repertoire was also a social active mm -hmm. artist songs, right? Sometimes for a singer, it's a little bit difficult to... I, I like lyrics in general. I, I like music, but I think that uh, we'll, in, in this time, we, are, we, we don't write enough lyrics or, uh, uh, or stories, if you want, um, but lyrics uh, about, about life in general. So music imposed some, sometimes to, to lyrics. And um, and we just you mentioned this group and this true I mean it, it had but it wasn't Spanish no <laughs> so I have a personal purpose and I'm I I write in French uh, Spanish songs you know I'm I translate songs and I compose in French because I live here and uh, and I want to share that with the, with the audience so when when I when I sing uh, social songs. I want people to understand what I'm saying. You know, uh, sometimes lyrics are very powerful as well. Say, in lyrics in, in a song, you know, like singing. You no, know? and um, sometimes you feel a little bit a little bit frustrated when you sing and you say, "Ah, you have a nice voice." People say, right, <laughs> but, but they didn't catch the meaning. And um, that uh, that is my purpose. That's my purpose. In all, it, it's just not uh, singing because it's nice or it sounds it sounds good, but because there's a message. There's a message there, and um, and that's that's what uh, impact me, and maybe that's what impact community in general. So I try even when I sing in Spanish, I try to explain everything, and. Um, and I do, and I uh, sometimes I do uh, like a solo of uh, uh, social songs uh, just along with my guitar. But I I tell the story about that song and the, the context of the song, and I sing in Spanish, but I explain everything in French, for example, or in English, so uh, they understand what what I'm singing. Um, that's important. Right, it's amazing. You can speak three. Well, I, French, English, English is my third language. Uh, I, I feel more comfortable in French. Do you speak French? <laughs> no. You too? You speak English and you're Japanese, right? Yeah, just two. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. here you don't have you don't have options. You have to speak. I live in Canada. You have to speak English, French. Uh, yeah. Spanish. That's amazing. Well, Spanish because I'm Peruvian. That's you know? native. Yeah. <laughs> What about any impact to your friends and your family or to your community? When I sing in French or in English or in a language other people can understand, for me, a great concert or presentation, I feel that I, I got a success with, with my, my performance when people are touched of my, my songs of or when people are a little bit more conscious of, of the subject I'm performing. So, uh, and they come to me to talk after the, the concert. That's what they like. Um, and they tell me how much, uh, you know, they, they, they are very expressive here in, in Quebec, at least. People, they like to talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then come back to you and then they tell you what they feel, what they felt when, when, you, when you sang and... They talk to you about the importance of this, uh, of, of what we do. At that moment, I see there's a, a good impact. 
in the community, you know. I try to make them to have experience and to make think a little bit about things that happen just uh, with my sons, you know. What are the challenges for you to be involved in social change as an artist, as a musician? And how could songs for peace help you? Social songs are not commercial. You know? And I understand that in general, in the summer now, they like entertainment. Um, <laughs> and I, well, music is nice because um, music can help us actually to, to reach people but we don't have to just give them entertainment. <laughs> the challenge is that we have normally spaces, you know, where where we can sing, we can play music, but uh, they are there. People are expecting to dance. I'm Latino, for example, so I'd say, oh, Latino music. I use rhythm from my country like a mixed race rhythms you know from different ethnics in my country so and uh, they are sometimes they are they have a special rhythm you know can make you feel uh, feeling like dance you know like dancing yeah but is there where i write lyrics you know it's <laughs> and i try to you know they to make them understand what I'm what I'm singing, so this is the challenge sometimes that uh, people they are not going to engage you at the at the, uh, at the beginning because of uh, uh, you want to talk uh, you want to you want to you want to sing about uh, social songs, but for the music I try to to do it in my way in order to to reach my my objective, <laughs> and um, and how you can help us. Yes, what, what you do actually uh, promoting normally those kind of songs uh, that normally we we write and 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 I like also when when there for example this is a specific topic but it could be interesting interesting you can propose us hey uh, and uh, we will like uh, uh, songs maybe if you can compose like that's that's what you did with us actually. <laughs> You ask us to compose for peace, you know, and same thing for all the things, you know, related uh, to the social challenges and problems we have in life. And uh, I very, I will be very uh, motivated to do it again. Yeah. So um, I think you are doing a, a good job. And uh, just I'm waiting another uh, invitation for another, another song. <laughs> And I, I will very happy to write it because sometimes, you know, you know, another thing that, that is good for maybe with you is that you, you can put the songs in the right place, you know, and that could help more people. It's a challenge for us as, as artists to, to, to go to the, to the right place and to, you know, to sing it, to sing the song. Sometimes I'm invited to do it for a specific, uh, you know, uh, situation. But, uh, but in general, we don't have uh, this opportunity. What would you be a potential impact that you and your music could make to the world? I think I could be a something positive if, if I work on it. And, and, and I uh, sometimes we don't know, but when we do it, we are very uh, convinced of what we're doing. And we do it actually with uh, passion and uh, just thinking about what we want to give. People get it. People get it when you do it. So um, that's why I, I, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, that could be a good impact if, if I continue in this way, doing, doing what I'm doing. What's your goal as an artist? I'm a social artist. I, I try to transmit uh, values, but also to inform people about uh, about what is happening. And also, I like to do research about um, uh, my culture or other cultures. Sometimes we we judge because we don't know, you know. And <laughs> and I I try to be to be this link uh, between cultures 
and as I speak uh, some languages. So my country, my country, for example, is misunderstood, I think. So um, we have an ancestral culture. And, uh, and also, if we talk about Latin America, most of the people here in North America, they think that we come from the Caribbean, you know, we're Caribbean, <laughs> you know, salsa, merengue, bachata, you know. They don't know about traditional music. They don't know about uh, our ancestral music or way of thinking. It's interesting to, to try to, to, to discover, to do research about our past and trying to share this information with, uh, with your, your audience. I have different goals, but I feel like uh, my principal goal maybe is to help people to make, understand you know, they, they, they know more about uh, uh, our cultures. And sometimes when, when it's not my culture and I, I, I try to learn more about the other culture and just uh, it's what is happening here in Canada. Just to give you an example, I'm, I'm part of an indigenous music group and, and I'm, I'm part of the reconciliation here in Canada, but we have like a, three bands here, you know, like uh, English speakers, French speakers and native. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I try to, to be the link, you know? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I play with the native people, with native people here in powwows and, and uh, I try to compose on music as well, but I speak French and I sing French. I, I mean, try to, to link and try to make them to, to, uh, to make them to to approach uh, and trying to to make to make them to be part of of, of just one nation, you know. And, and uh, well, I'm an immigrant. Well, I'm Canadian as well, but <laughs> but that's my my specific goal in in Canada, for example, is <laughs> just trying to help them to to understand each other and collaborate each other and live in peace anything you'd like to promote as i told you i have different projects sometimes i collaborate with other projects as well my project Pe peru Mes Racines metis that is like music peru mixed to tell that we are not just um, from the highlands <laughs> but we are mixed <laughs> i'm a storyteller too and this project is about pre-hispanic stories and legends with music again trying to, uh, to do a research about that, to learn about the ancient cultures uh, in the past in, in my country. And uh, well, there are many stories about it. And we have another event, Octo Echo, uh, with Octo Echo. It's a transestral, it's a project. Uh, we collaborate with, a, with this native uh, group I, I, I'm part of. So it's a true hymn to life. The artists of transestral express them, the common perpetual, quest for harmony between human and nature is inspired by music and sacred dances and uh, of Sufi as well and, and indigenous traditions in Canada. This is another project. This is about uh, music uh, and uh, native music from Peru and Canada. That's, that's, that's the, the, a project normally with, with, with my friend Normand Raymond. We, we play native music from Peru. That's not... Uh, from the coast or necessarily but from native music from peru and from canada so and we compare both uh, music and both way of uh, rituals and spirituality we present many instruments and and differences and and similarities america sometimes is like just one block you know like uh, we share many things but also we have differences so that's important to know that's beautiful mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you for your time. <laughs> this is the end of the interview. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you, Joshi. Thank, thank you very much. Bye.